Hey everyone, um, I'm Mark. Welcome to my world. If you're a homeowner like I am and you want to be independent as much as possible and you want to try and do that within means, stop over to my shop. I have what I call my tiny workshop. I do a few things here and there. I will post the videos. I welcome questions and would love to see projects that you've done as well. I might even engage and be brave in a little bit of political satire. Some serious, mostly if I like to have fun with it. But so I hope you enjoy the videos to come as the projects I do and little hints that I find that come in pretty handy. And this is one of my helpers right here. You will see Sherlock. Patty, however, is extremely shy. Right, Sherlock? You're going to welcome everybody to life with Sherlock and Patty, huh? Not your most flattering side. Come here. All right, so folks, this will be my... Uh, supervisor assistant quality control specialist so again hope you enjoy the videos hey everyone a uh, little household tip uh i've been through two or three food savers and no matter which one i have i always have a problem with the moisture coming up through uh even if it's a small amount and not sealing properly so a lot of times i've had to use two of these which um i would prefer not to do because it's a little expensive so what I'm doing instead is I just got some really cheap no, uh, Ziploc bags. They don't have to be the Ziploc brand. And I just chopped the top off because I'm not going to seal the top because there is a reason I want the air to, uh, sorry, the, the air to escape. And I'm just using this, uh, this piece of steak as an example. So I'm just going to fold this over. I want this, I want the air to be able to escape, uh, but at the same time, I want this to trap more of the juices without it going up through. And this is going to get a little bit noisy just for a minute. All right, so that's all nice and sealed up. None of the liquids has come up through. It might be a little hard to see, but by the time the liquid made it out of the inner uh, Ziploc bag and up through, it gave this plenty of time to draw the air out and create a proper seal. So what I would recommend is, like I said, just buy any old cheap Ziploc bags, just so you can just cut the top off, wrap it around once in there, uh, with the opening of Ziploc facing down. And again, it just gives it a chance for everything that by the time that moisture is coming down here, uh, I like to marinate stuff. So I will put uh, either a Thai dressing or whatever you want to use inside. This gives the opportunity to say that and to keep a, a nice proper seal, good for storage.